I've just got over the COVID. I finally finished and uh, I found the, the antivirus was worse than the infection. Anyway, I'm better now. But it's so hot outside. I'm sitting here with a, virtually with a fan up my ass because it's that fucking hot. So I can't work, so I thought I'll make you a little quick video. There is no doubt every exercise I participated in with the SAS was a waste of time and money and pissed me off. Example, we landed in by C-130 on a big grass field in southern France and our mission was to get from A to B with the French Paris being the enemy. Well, obviously the French Paris knew where we were going to land and capture the team. In them days, we'd just been issued a, a radio called the Klansman, which was pretty heavy. I, I was, and I was carrying it. I'm five foot six. And I was the smallest in my team. I don't know how the fuck did I have to carry it. Anyway, it was heavy. So you do a comms check. And if radio didn't work, didn't work. So Sergeant Morell for GM, I said, no, he ain't working, Sergeant. So I threw away the expensive battery and uh, carried the Klansman. One of the team got jumped on by French Para and we had no way of destroying codes and documents. To this day, I don't think they've got one where you can put them in a box and the box puts acid on it, onto them or it burns them. So if you're trying to destroy your book as you're getting jumped on, it's virtually impossible. So this one patrol were jumped on and they captured the maps and the one time message pad. And obviously the whole exercise turned into a farce. I didn't get captured because I'd stopped for a piss on the night time and Sergeant Morell kept walking. So I knew where he was going. So I just stopped for a piss. And they walked into an ambush and got jumped on. So I managed to compete on my own from A to B. Back in barracks, three days later, I meet up with a mate, Wally Graham, who had joined the SES with. And he pretty much constipated. I mean, see, so you can stop for a piss, but it's not easy to stop for a shit on an exercise. So we went to the shit house, French Paris shit house, and there's an armed guard on the shit house. And he gives with two bits of the roughest paper, like cardboard. And I think, why is an armed guard on the fucking toilet? There's no doors on the toilet. And all the seats were missing. And there was no chains. So you had to stand on the seat to flush the toilet. Apparently, there's so many French Paris commit suicide. This is why they've got the the toilet's guarded. I mean, with only two pieces of toilet paper, hard to write a suicide note even. So we were contemplating sitting on the toilet and what he was telling me that they'd witnessed one of the French Paris had been tortured because he fell asleep on duty. They actually hung him up in a barn by his thumbs. And it was a time we were just joining the car market. We got to a political discussion. I'm saying, why the fuck do we want to join this group of fucking wanking French Paris that they, their only fame was getting defeated at some famous battle in Vietnam? Something one damn fool or somewhere like that. Anyway, we finished our business and uh, thank, thank the God. We still had a sticky ass, but never mind. We went and got changed. Now, instead of going on the debrief, me and Watty decided, fuck this. We'll go out of the barracks 
and have a drink of French wine. There must be something good about France. So we fucked off from the debrief. <laughs> the CO of the SES squadron inspected every SES soldier going in, and most were missing bits of kit that the French parrot had nicked off them. So he, he gave them all a fucking note of missing kit which they had to pay for and compensate for and a fine. So, so me and what he Graham did the right thing. We found a little restaurant and sat down and had a, a litre bottle of wine. And as I say, it was the only good thing I found about France and the French. The, the, the debriefing was, was fucking embarrassing. How, you know, they caught the one time message pad and the, the maps and everything. But the only good point to note was the fact that they had to devise something to destroy documents. And you'd think SES would have something, you know, secret codes, secret book. How do you destroy it? And the, the corporal that got caught with all this fucking information on him got reduced to the ranks from corporal back down to trooper. So that night, being what you were, virtually drunk anyway, there was a reception forward. And two French paras came in and threw uh, blast bombs in amongst us. They showed the contempt they had for the British. They fucking hated us. So a group of French paras, me and what you were talking to, we started talking about, oh, have you ever won a battle? Because you got captured a lot, didn't you? And General de Gaulle started fucking executing you for being traitors due to Algeria. So we were taking the piss out of them. Terrible. And it nearly ended up with fisty cuffs. So in them days, in the early 70s. I had the reason why the hell do we want to join the EU, dump our friends from Australia and New Zealand and join the French. I think I was right. A couple of facts that you might not be aware of is French para and French para foreign legion. After the Second World War, it was nearly full of ex-SS and German Paris. So uh, when they got defeated, they wiped out a load of German SS guys. So I think I, I'm glad they were defeated in the end. Well done. Well done, Vietnam. Well done, the Viet Cong. And another thing, I met a lad who just finished Colchester prison because he deserted and he'd, he'd gone to France and joined the French Foreign Legion and became a, a, a Foreign Legion para. So he didn't like it and he and deserted from them, came back and he, he got sentenced and did his time and he, he came to us and he couldn't pass the British Parachute Regiment course. So that'll tell you something about French Parrot. They, they couldn't hack British Parrot course. 